welcome back to Buzzing Threads. This week I am working on the thread painting of my fox that I started a few weeks ago. Um, so what you can see is that I have done the eye and the nose already. But what I thought before I continue doing the thread painting is I'll talk a little bit more about the threads that I use. So I've got some of my threads here. You can see there's quite a lot of them as I will be blending lots of colours together. I'm not sure whether I'll use all of these but I'll probably use quite a few. I've got lots of greys, some pale kind of off-white shades, various browns. Obviously, with it being a fox, I've got lots of ready browns in there. So, the main threads that I use are, um, are two different sorts of Mettler thread. So, um, let me just check what the weight is of these threads. So, you've got the um, green ones, which are the 50 weight and you've got the purple ones which are the 60 weight they're the silk finish cotton and they're really easy to get hold of these that's why i work with them a lot because they're readily available and i can get them in a whole range of colors i do also use some aurafil i really like aurafil they have quite a nice range of different weights um, heavier threads than you get with the Mettler um, and I find that really useful to get the effects that I want because it's easier to kind of add a colour with a thicker kind of weight of thread. So I've got some, it's mostly the orange ones that I tend to use of the Mettler threads. So the orange is a 50 weight thread, um, so quite similar but I quite also like the greys which is let me just check it is a 28 weight so it's that little bit thicker which means that you can kind of add the colour with it without having to apply the thread as thickly you know the sort of layers of thread so I really like using that Okay, so I've got my machine set up now. Um, I'll change the camera round to a different view to film when I'm actually sewing. But I'm just going to talk a bit about how I've set up my machine before I change the view. So you can see I've got my... Uh, my fox is in an embroidery ring to keep the fabric really nice and tight. I have got a layer of... Um, interfacing behind it is iron on but it doesn't stick very well so it's come off but but yeah I did did iron that on before I started the sewing just to keep it roughly in place I've threaded up my machine I'm going to start with some grey around the mouth area and it's the green which is the slightly lighter weight thread the 60 weight I think just now I said them the wrong way round the green is the thinner thread the 60 weight and the purple is the 50 weight um, thread which is slightly higher weight so this is this is the green thread at the moment in the bobbin I have got just some basic grey thread um, it's so it's going to be a similar sort of weight to this but it's not the embroidery thread because you don't need that in the bobbin. So I tend to just use a basic thread in there. So it's a, it's a mid grey at the moment. So that will be suitable for using with quite a few of my different greys. And as long as I've got the tension right, then that thread shouldn't show on the top. So I don't need to match it completely to the thread that I'm using on the top. Okay, so I'm ready to start sewing now. I am going to start working around the mouth area. I want to blend in the dark with the white area. Um, so I'm going to 
focus on that to start off with. I know I want a little bit of kind of darkness in this area too, so I might put some of that in as well. I'm going to blend in some lighter shades afterwards because this is working with quite a dark grey. And you need to vary the foot pressure to vary the speed. Um, obviously I'm going to get little stitches if I'm, I'm stitching fast and longer stitches if I'm stitching um, slower. So I'm going to use a mixture of that as I do it. I'm going to change the speed. I've got my feed dogs up in fact at the moment um, but and then I'll just kind of move my hands against the movement of the feed dogs to get the fox moving in the direction that I want the thread to go to create the hair. So at the moment the line looks quite a harsh line but I will be adding in some lighter shades alongside it so that will soften it a bit. So I've done the underside here, I'm actually not going to continue working along there yet, I'm going to stop that there and I'm going to work on the top side as well. Okay, so I had to pause there because I need to go and get my scissors. So I am just going to snip these threads off because they're actually in my way now. And that's going to make it annoying when I'm stitching around this area. So I haven't backstitched at all. I've just snipped them quite short. And I find that because I'm doing quite a lot of forward and back anyway over the top of it, um, they don't tend to kind of come loose. I tend to find that's fine. So now that I've done that, I can resume where I was. I'm going to lower the needle in so I know that what my start point is. I'm just having a glance at my, my reference picture to the side as well to remind myself of what I'm trying to achieve. Again, I need to just snip that off. Okay, so I've done that section there. And I am going to just work in this some darkness around this area before I change to my lighter thread. So that looks quite harsh at the moment because um, there's a quite a contrast between the dark grey that I've used and the fabric here but when I've blended that with a lighter shade I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I need a bit more darkness around the nose as well so I'm going to add in a bit around there. Um, just need to make sure that my hoop is not going to get in the way as I do that, but I think I've got just enough room to just stitch around there uh, without it getting in the way. Okay, so I think I'm finished with that dark grey for now. I could, as I said, continue to work on down here, but I'm going to switch threads now because I kind of want to get a feel for how I'm going to work this area um, before I move on down. I want to be happy that the way I'm planning on doing it is going to work. So I'm going to try it out up here first before I move on down to that section. Okay, so I've threaded up my machine with quite a light grey now. So I'm going to blend in this area. I know I need to get in some uh, lighter grey around here as well because I don't want it to be that kind of almost white colour. In reality it's it's a kind of grey colour as well and just I want a really 
light section around the edge of the nose there. Okay, so that's looking a lot better around the nose there. I don't want to end up adding too much density of thread around there. I think that's fine in that section, um, but I just need to come down and do a bit more around here. Okay, I think I'm happy with that section there. I'm going to need to continue on around this mouth area. Okay, so now coming back to underneath the mouth area, so I'm going to again come with the lighter thread, blending it in with that dark grey. Um, actually, I'm not going to do too much here because I actually want some more darker grey. Looking at my reference picture I'm thinking I need a lot more darker grey underneath so I'm just going to switch back to the darker grey now. Okay so I've added in a bit more dark grey. I haven't gone too close to the edge around here because I'm going to be um, cutting this out onto its background so I need to be able to cut off just that tiny bit on the edge so I just need to be careful just to leave a little bit um, at the edge and when I stitch this onto the background I'll cover over that kind of outer bit at that stage. I'm going to switch back to the lighter thread again now. Okay, so I've got the light thread back in the machine, the light grey. I'm going to blend in this area underneath the chin. And now there's one final bit that I want to add into this section, and that's just, it needs a little bit of a darker tone in the middle there so I'm going to need to use um, a darker shade I've got one which is just kind of off black so I'm gonna do a line through the middle and see how that turns out okay so my machine is threaded up with the the almost black that just kind of off black so I'm just gonna try running that down through the middle Okay, so I'm, I think that's fine. Um, I'm just reflecting whether it's dark enough or whether I need to add in some actual black in that area. Um, so I'm just going to have a think about that. So I'm now going to continue kind of working this area in the same way and then I'll catch up with you when I'm a bit further down the line. Okay, so the light's kind of fading now, so it's not so good for filming, but I'm just going to show you how far I got. So you can see how I've continued working my way along the nose of the fox, blending in some different colours. You can see I've added in some uh, browns in there as well now. So I'm going to be continuing on working like this for a while and then I will catch up with you again in a few weeks when I've made a bit more progress. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.